I'm just gonna say I like this episode a lot. You do? Yes. This episode oh. feels very close to home with a huge outside asteroid about to destroy us all. No, it's not. It's and actually going to miss, like, miss the planet by several thousands of miles. Only only in real life, we don't have the Enterprise I think to millions us. of miles, actually. No, but I mean, like, in real life, we don't have the Enterprise to help us. Like, it feels like this could very oh, much yeah, happen. Oh, yeah. And, like, in done, real life. They, they've done studies. In fact, like, well, one, it's funny that this, this episode we're watching it happens... Uh, Moonfall just came out. And dude, you just took my bit, dude. <laughs> <laughs> what? This is the exact same bit that happened in Moonfall. Let, let him do his <laughs> bit. <laughs> and that movie tanks horribly. Uh, and but What are you uh, talking about? It's a beautiful fucking movie, dude. <laughs> it's a beautiful piece of art. I mean, I, regardless of the content of the movie, it has tanked in the box offices horribly. Not, not in Europe, dude. Europeans love moons. <laughs> and the ball. <laughs> they love when moons uh, get hit in the eye with rockets. <laughs> you know, like and, a big uh, pizza pie. Yeah. Hell oh, yeah, dude. Also, they've done studies, like, even even like the thing that Riker mentioned, where they're like, maybe Are we, we recording? Can- yeah, we're recording. Yeah, we're oh. recording. <laughs> <laughs> Is this the thing, thing where, on? where we they vaporize, <laughs> Sorry, they try to explode the moon. <laughs> you know, uh, they've done studies like the moon would just form right back together because of gravity. <laughs> so it would just it, would it just wouldn't be the apart. same moon. Wouldn't Trust be me. the same moon. Republicans though. have figured it out. They're like, can we make money off blowing up the moon? <laughs> <laughs> well, no. you guys have but heard the, the news. There's the, that thing that's gonna hit the moon. But the, ev- the evangelicals want want this. Ah, fuck. It, let's try it. <laughs> What's going to hit the moon, Sarah? There's that thing, that like space junk that's going to hit the moon on like March 4th, I think. Yeah. So we'll see if the world ends around then or not because it's going to hit the moon and then- It, will, it, won't, it won't end. You know why? Because that would be too easy. <laughs> that would be too easy. <laughs> and, and you know what, Ricardo? I, mean, I agree with you. <laughs> yeah, remember, remember when uh, Macho Man Randy Savage saved us all from the rapture? Oh, uh, yeah. I do. Rest in peace, Macho Man. He's it's been dead. A while, but He's rest dead. In peace. It's been a long time. <laughs> He's been dead for and a long he, time. He, he has like a, a lot of peace to rest for. Oh my god, dude! Yeah. <laughs> I missed it, dude. <laughs> we missed you. Yeah. Homie. Send yeah. my regards, dude. I will. I will send my regards to Miss Miss Macho Miss, Woman. Miss Macho Man. Yeah, yeah Miss Macho Man. <laughs> <Miss> Senorita <laughs> Macho Man. <laughs> <laughs> Well, anyway, I really like this episode. To me, this is the episode I think of when I think of a good Q episode, or if I think fondly of Q at all, it is this episode. And as we know, this episode is also the source of many a meme. It is sure. the source of the original Picard facepalm. Oh, yeah. yeah. It is the source of one of my favorite lines of all time. I don't need your fantasy women. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need he your really fantasy doesn't. women. <laughs> he really does it. That's the he thing. Actually yeah. Do- yeah, he actually really doesn't. Need yeah. That. If he wants fantasy I have women, my harp ladies. You'll go to the holodeck or to the harp ladies. I have my IRL ladies. Yeah, yeah. And if he and if he um if he if he doesn't do that, he's he, every episode he basically fucks a lady anyway. So <laughs> And if he doesn't actually, he still basically does. Yeah. Yeah, Riker Fox, dude. That's all. I'm saying. <laughs> yes. I, I, you might as well there... name that. Th- that yeah, might as dude. well be the show's title. <laughs> yeah. Dude. Star Trek. Does anybody? Riker does anyone know where I can find a shirt yeah. that says Riker Fox? Send me mm. the link. Maybe we could <laughs> make that, that shirt. <laughs> make it. Merch idea. It, Merch idea. Oh, mm. There's Riker probably Fox. like 15 variants already. This is what I want. Yeah. I want. I want a shirt that says Riker Fox and then a picture of the Harp Ladies. You know what I mean? <laughs> mm, I don't know. Uh, somebody out there has got a no Photoshop. No, I mean. there's no. As far wow. as I know, there isn't any shirt that says Riker Fox. But at the very least, the internet you is not what? already inundated with them. So that's our job now. Yeah, yeah. So that's our job. We're going to make we this t shirt. We will. Maybe we'll have merch one day. Make Riker fuck again. Mm-hmm. Yes, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh Excuse God. me. When did he stop? <laughs> Oh, well, basically, when, once Star Trek Picard happened, and, you know, we'll, see, we'll, we'll that's way too far in the future. Anyway, we watched Deja Q, as you could probably all know. Also, hey, this is I like is that title. Star Trek. That title is cute. Deja Q. Yeah, all the Q episodes <laughs> have a pun 
get cute. based on cute. Yeah. So get yeah. cute. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's cute. It's cute. Uh, 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 I like but, this episode. It's cute. <laughs> also, uh, we're we're newbie Star Trek. Um, if you haven't what? listened to, this, to newbie Star Trek before, <laughs> basically, uh, are you a Dan, newbie here? <laughs> <laughs> Dan, yes. Ricardo, and Sarah are kind of the newbies. Dan is almost a full newbie at this point. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not yet christened the newbie. I we have to get to the end of the season, and then I'll be as newbie as yeah. everyone else. Once once you reach that point, I will also add Dan's name to the podcast. Uh, description. Oh, I can't wait. <laughs> I don't like. I don't like the idea of Marvin having this much power. <laughs> I mean, it's it's fine. Kind of scares me. Mm-hmm. The all knowing, the uh, cue. <laughs> oh, oh well, that's not a very favorable comparison. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but but yeah, the they haven't seen Star Trek before, or at least not all of TNG. So we're going through it one episode at a time. And uh, yeah, that's what we watched the EGQ this week. And this episode first aired on February 5th of 1990. And this is where Dan takes us around the sun. Whoosh. Back to February 5th of 1990. Or actually a little before that. Just, I've done this before, but um, it just struck me again when I was checking out what was hot at the time on the Billboard charts. Mm -hmm. And all in the same week, the top 10 included Paul Abdul, Rod Stewart, Aerosmith, Michael Bolton, Chicago, and Janet Jackson. Ooh, Chicago was in the, the charts. Nice. Yeah. Um, it was like, uh, what kind of man would I be or whatever whatever that song is? Um, okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Um, so all right. they all had various hits. I'm not going to name them all. Too hard. Uh, January 31st, the Soviet Union's first McDonald's location opened in <laughs> Moscow. <laughs> that was <Wow>. fast. Yeah. <laughs> like the, bull- <laughs> the wall comes down and... <laughs> McDonald's wow. is like, we have to strike now. <laughs> <laughs> Cold War's over. They had we ha- uh, they had spies before the wall came down. <laughs> they had spies. McDonald's had better spies in the US. They were spying for like locations. They're like, this is beautiful. They had surveyors I mean, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They already they created, created a joke, the regional I believe version. That 100%. Yeah, yeah absolutely. I mean, I'm, that was I'm sure they are actually already did like the market research for like, oh, yeah. where would be the best place to open a McDonald's once the Soviet Union falls? Where is the best movie of about course. this already? Where is the, what's the best regional version of the food that we should make? at this look like wait do they have like fucking i don't know goulash <laughs> yeah like goulash burgers <laughs> yeah <laughs> gruel or, they have gruel over there <laughs> they serve goulash in the gulag <laughs> that would be nice mcdonald's Noted is like ring. is like weed so like you know they'll find anywhere they can pop up that's how uh, i feel about it uh a uh, noted ringer softball player, Daryl Strawberry, checked <gasps> into an alcohol rehab center, and though he's never met us, he's still better than us. Is did, I mean, was he checked in for gigantism? N- no, it was just normal alcoholism. Oh, wait, no, he, was, he wasn't on the softball team. Oh, that wasn't him on the softball team, right? <laughs> I Wait, said noted it? ringer He's softball like, player Daryl Strawberry. <laughs> okay, but but then was he the one? God, who got you're ruining gigantism? everything. I rely on your Simpsons knowledge, and you're you're just Wait, no, Ooh. but was he the you're one who on got gigantism? Jokes, First, you step on my bit. No, 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 Dan did. <laughs> Ken Griffey Jr. Why would you had do this gigantism. To this? Oh, it's Ken Griffey Darryl Jr. Daryl Strawberry. Oh, he plays left field. You want some? Well, then are you better than him? <laughs> well, he's never met you, but. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, very good. I had to go through the whole thing. Twice. Uh, Let's start this episode over again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, welcome to Newbie Star Trek. The University of Notre Dame became the very first college to sell its home football games to a major network directly, in this case, NBC. However, mm. this was in spite of the fact that the College Football Association had already been negotiating a big collective deal with ABC and ESPN for broadcasting rights to all its games games um mm. notre dame was traditionally part of that organization so um this was kind of awkward caused a lot of drama back then but the deal has stood the test of time and nbc still airs notre dame's fighting irish's games today oh okay and oh, that's wow. the end of our trip around the sun okay all that flew right over my head because i don't know anything about <laughs> football it was just interesting because it's like, hey, uh, we're going to negotiate all the college football broadcast rights. And then Notre Dame's like, nah, man, we're too big for that. We're just going to go straight to a network. <laughs> Dang. That's pretty baller move. I mean, that makes and sense. It's, and it worked. 
It yeah. was like, oh, you greedy bastards. Like, then what are you going to do? What are you going to do? What are you going to do about hey, it? Huh? I mean, money yeah. talks. So but God someone's forbid, willing to pay. God forbid a, a poor kid who's playing for one of those teams that <laughs> doesn't have a lot of fucking money take a fucking car to get to school because they'll shoot a fucking brick and they'll kick him out of school. Fuck yeah, or them. Some, or, or fuck someone buy them groceries. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was the that was the most shocking one where yeah. like this kid got gr- groceries cuz he was hungry and are like you're off the team. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> wow. I was like what? They're all pieces of shit, dude. <laughs> they they should get they they sell the game to EA Sports and they stopped making it but when they were making it they should have paid everybody for their likeness. Yeah. No, they really should have. Of course. That yeah. seems like actually like a copyright and likeness issue. Well, that's uh, that's uh, there should be a consistently been a point of like or a bit been a problem with college sports because mm. you know, all the players are pretty much unilaterally exploited. Oh for, yeah, oh, big you. time. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it, it's just it, it's a shitty situation. So and um, and they make super rules like oh kids have to go to college first before they can get drafted into the NBA or, or NFL. But it's like bullshit dude nah. those are just rules so, so schools can make a little bit of fucking money fuck them dude. yeah kobe got drafted straight out of high school yeah. you know after that yeah. they changed it oh they did they they forced it to be college i think actually actually after lebron i think really so you I know nfl i think college? nfl you can't go you can't go you have to go to college why um, Who cares? i don't know because they're stupid you have idiots. to be on T. You have to be proven on TV already, or you can go overseas for a bit. If you're like a really good player and you're already known to be a good player, that feels like a waste of time. Yeah, like you would Don't have to spend my motherfucking time. You're Hoo-ah. spending essentially two years of a career of a. It's already gonna be not that yeah. long a career in college or well, something. The school has to make money, I guess. Not well, that's that some bullshit. It, but... They gotta wet well, their beak, you know. Yeah. Well, you know who else needs to wet our beak. Yeah, dude. Wait, wait, the way we said that's weird. But our beaks need to be wetted by sponsors. <laughs> What's our, our beaks wait, need is to it be the wetted. sponsors wetting their beaks? Mm, it's a beach. It, no, it's everyone. Feel, no. All parties are mutually wetted. Yeah. We are you know? all the birds dipping our noses collectively because, into because the Because the glass. sponsors get new customers. We get a kickback. And the customers, you know, they get good good stuff. Because you know what's some good shit? A good VPN. And you know what's a good VPN? Express VPN. You know why it's a good VPN? Because it's secure as fuck. Yeah. There's no way anyone's ever going to find out what the fuck you're doing. Because nope. all those logs are deleted. Yep. They're not even stored on any spinning hard drives. They're no wiped off. Here. No, this is all jerked off. Yep. Once the servers turn off, yeah, all your data is not saved. It's you, all gone. You, do you live in a really conservative state? And you're yeah. like, oh, damn it, dude. All I want to watch is that fucking wet ass pee fucking video. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> what? And you don't you don't want your yeah. you don't want your you don't your, want your church, family no, your, yeah. your congregation to find yeah. out. Yeah. So. Yeah. Did, Did you, you see that map free? of all of the most popular Pornhub searches oh, in your yeah. state? Oh and yeah. And you were and you That's were disturbing. kicking yourself because you weren't reaping the benefits of all of your <laughs> of all of your brethren in your of own all these state. ideas. You know. Yeah. It's yeah. like oh my god, that's what's popular here. Where yeah. have I been? Oh man, I, I like, wish I could geo hop over to, to like New York or Texas so, yeah. and see what they're jerking to. So, I, okay, uh, I'm gonna tell the story that leads into this 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 thing, okay. guys. When I was younger and I would go visit my my cousins in Mexico or like <laughs> cousins like in in Texas and stuff, they were always behind on the times. Like mm. we'd be into pogs or something, and they were into pogs <laughs> like months later, like six months later. It would hit oh them. yeah, that's a that's so, definitely a thing. Yeah. yeah, same thing with porno. Like if you want to search a good, you know, <laughs> like you porn. Like I already saw that yeah. one. Yeah, if you want to be with the times, you put on the VPN, hit the Los Angeles, and you get all the hits. You know, like yeah. you get you get the most search items. The big yeah. cities. Yeah. yeah, New York, L.A. Miami, as the custom people call it. Um, <laughs> get, or as, get, as Will Smith it. calls it. Yeah, get in get in there, guys. But you know what? Do Dan. it safely. Do it safely. <laughs> Do it discreetly. Welcome to the city where the heat is on all night. On break they're going to ban us, Sarah. Going they're going to they're gonna strike Miami. us. They're, gonna, they're like, this sounds too much like the real song. <laughs> as, someone, as, someone, <laughs> yeah, I know. as someone who grew up in Miami... <laughs> And heard this song a lot. It's too authentic. Was- yeah, it's too authentic. <laughs> you're, you're being you're being too authentic. Yeah, Do yeah. I sound <laughs> just like the song. Sarah, yeah, is you- Will Smith an honorary Miamian? 
Yeah. Yeah. I, I think so. I know. Mian-mian. I don't know. Miamian. If, if you're in Utah and you're like, I just want to watch the, the, let me see the thong, the, the thong song video. Let me see the yeah. thong song. Yeah. Yeah, put might. On, put on a VPN on that shit. Yeah. And then also, if you want to hear, this is what a little birdie told me. I don't know where the birdie was from. Um, allegedly, this is what a little birdie said. Hey, if you want to watch some Fox movies on Disney Plus, oh, shit. throw on a VPN. What? Like you're in Europe. Oh, shit. Hit up your, your Disney Plus account and all the Fox movies will appear. Allegedly Ooh, is what this bird said. Crazy. That's fucking this crazy. This bird was dude. a dodo bird. So I don't can't, I don't know if it's true or not. So. <laughs> and you couldn't tell where its accent which was from. Yeah. 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 Mm-hmm. And listen, if you want ExpressVPN, head on over to expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. And if you sign up for 12 months, you get an extra three months for free. That means it's a total savings of 49%. That's wow. a pretty good deal. Wow. Pretty dang good deal. So again, that link is expressvpn.com slash newbie Star Trek. You can also just find the link in our podcast description if you just want to click around. Yeah, there you go. get jerked. <laughs> All right. You know, I'm sure I'm sure this fine lady loved a good jerkin. Ricardo, could you please tell us what happened yeah. in this episode? She loves jerk chicken. <laughs> um all right let's get down to it um let's get down as of today we've lost our sponsorship you know what i say to that who cares you know what it feels good to be canceled um anyway <laughs> <laughs> so free. to be frank we would be probably doing this with or without any of the yeah, sponsorships yeah. anyways it doesn't to be we, frank we, that's how we to started be frank, so. to, to be, be frank yourself. to be frank uh, we would really like frank's hot uh hot sauce hot sauce yeah oh. frank's hot sauce yeah, yeah. true or the, or the original hot sauce for hot wings yes 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 yeah. the best nothing but the best anything You're frank advertising for them stop it no, yeah stop, frank's stop. um hot dog frank's Hey, oh. you guys! You guys want to get wienered? Uh, come at us, sponsor <laughs> oh us. Would you yeah, like wiener to up. be wienered? Yeah, wienered up, guys. Uh, we're open for business. If you guys want us to sexualize your company name, <laughs> we're the podcast to do so. <laughs> yeah, we're really good at yeah. it. Oh no! No matter what your product is, we'll sexualize it. Really we'll find fast. a way. We'll yeah. find a way. It, it, it's faster than 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 Riker could take off his clothes in the in the holodeck. <laughs> All right, this uh, episode starts off. Doon, 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 doon. And it's the exact same fucking plot to Moonfall. Literally. Yeah. 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 The moon is out of orbit and these people are like um they're like this Why shit's does going it look down. like an asteroid? That doesn't look like a moon to me. Hey, hey, well, moons you can't look like judge. asteroids you when can't they're close. <laughs> yeah. I guess that's not I, I don't think moons are I don't have know. You how seen, a moon have you seen is the moon? Defined. Have you seen the moon up close? Yeah, you're right. Maybe no, I haven't been to space yet. Mm-hmm. Not yet. Well, you've well, never yeah. been. Yeah, no, I've never been. I've you never been to judge. the moon. What a loser! <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, maybe Man, you're right. this is a Star Trek podcast. <laughs> <laughs> And you've never been you to don't space. need to watch this episode. How dare you? How embarrassing. I've been to space. <laughs> <laughs> so these jerks are like, hey, um, the moon, they, it's moving. It's out of orbit. Um, just like. Um, why? <laughs> yeah. They no look like cats. Don't they yeah. look like weird versions of cats? Like they, they're I don't know. Like the, Their mouths are kind of upsetting and distracting. <laughs> <laughs> they're kind of like, they're kind of like catfish. Like catfish. Yeah. yeah, a little bit. Yeah, yeah sure. But I don't sure. like the way yeah, they that's look. That's a benevolent look, take on that. Sure, they look like um, they look like catfish in like army like clothing. Like they yeah. look like a know. they look like a Beverly Hills hot housewife. Um, yeah, and then, exactly. <laughs> and then uh, so these people are like, hey, the moon's falling. We don't know what's going on. It's crazy. Help us, uh, Obi Wan <laughs> Kenobi. Your crazy. only chance. And they're like, okay, well, we're gonna try to help, but like, no promises. Like, try to figure out how to get your people out of there. And everybody's I mean, it's a moon camo. falling. Yeah. I mean, like it's everybody's wearing really green. Hard. Everybody's gr- wearing green jumpsuits and fucking Fubu fucking sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> um, and um, they're ready for so they're ready for looking. the track. Um, and then so they're like, "Hey, help us any way you can." And then they're like, "Oh fuck, what do we do?" And they're like, "Well, we could kind of we could try the old Armageddon attempt, you know." Get get like twelve of the best uh, deep core drillers, you know, put them on the <laughs> asteroid and blow it up. <laughs> and they're like, "No, nah, no, nah, we can't do yeah. that. We don't have time enough time to train." Mm-hmm. Um, and then the Bruce track Willis them down. is like light years away. Yeah, yeah. Aerosmith yeah. had wait. Did Aerosmith make the song yet? Yes, they did. no. 
This song? They had the, yeah. the, the, the okay, they had, they had made the the Armageddon in song. In 1990? Yeah, it already existed in some timeline. Um, <laughs> not our timeline, but you bastard. <laughs> yeah. You you think you're too lin- linearly, Marvin. You got to think really three-dimensional. Um, oh, that's so funny cuz that's a that's yeah, a line. I don't want to miss a thing came 8 years later. Have you ever it, seen Star Trek Insurrection, uh, Ricardo? No. Or not Insurrection, um, Star Trek First Contact. No. Um, pr- yes, I was too high to, to remember. Do you remember the Borg Queen? Sure. Yeah. Yeah. The, she has that stupid she, line where she's like, you think in such three-dimensional terms. I oh, thought you were about to say that to me. <laughs> <laughs> maybe, maybe her and I have something in common. Um <laughs> So these cat people, they're like, yeah. So like, there's gonna be tsunamis and shit. Basically, like anything from like a, from like a Roland Emmerich movie, like yeah, the, like Day After Tomorrow type shit, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. they're just um, describing it though. None of this is happening on screen. No, no, no. it's they're just, just describing it's gonna it. happen. Yeah. yeah, and they're like, so so help us with the moon thing, you know? And they're like, all right, we'll, we'll try to figure it out. And they're like, could we lasso it? Could we call like some deep core drillers? <laughs> what do we do? It? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And then fucking Q shows up naked, dude, like a Terminator. Oh yeah. my god, that was so yeah. weird. John Delancey actually naked on set. He he apparently really? walked onto set with the robe on and then dramatically threw it off and was like, okay, I'm ready. And oh. everyone was like, oh shit. So is that everyone's <laughs> sure real <is>. reaction? <laughs> Because they apparently wanted to do it with him wearing a thong, and then they realized <gasps> that they see too much to like the thong wouldn't work. So they're like, he has to really be naked. And yeah, he was like, they're all right. Like, and then oh. they could have made it work. Someone just I wanted to so. see. It. <laughs> I think that's a, this is very spicy for for Star Trek when he shows up naked. I was caught off guard. Really, mm. very spicy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're you're really, you're really into the scene, dude. Calm down. <laughs> very spicy. So um, he's like, hey, Caballeros, what's up? And and they're like, dude, you're naked, dude. And it turns out that they took away his powers. And uh, basically, he was a dick. It's weird because yeah. later on, you see another Q and they're all dicks. And you wonder, like, what did he do that is not normal already every day dick activity? <laughs> <you know? laughs> so, I think yeah. he, like, bothered them. <laughs> I think that's what it was. I think he like bothered the Q too much because the other Q explains that you did so much crazy shit that when I show up somewhere else, they go, oh my God, you were Q, get out of here. And you can't like have fun. Yeah. So he's like, he basically kind of ruined it for everybody. So he's kind of like a menace. Yeah. He's like, he's like, he's like Cartman when Cartman stole all the chicken skin off of the KFC and then everyone's like, what the fuck? You took the best part. And that's, that's, that's Q. That's this Q, the John Delancey Q. Wait, as opposed to what other Q? Oh, the Q that shows up at the end, who is like, "Oh, I got gotcha. you." The other Q that like, oh right, right. I, like, I keep oh, forgetting that they are all technically. They're just Q. all called Q. That's not helpful. But it isn't. <laughs> not at all. Look at how lost I am. Just look. And so they're like, um, "Put some clothes on, man, you pervert." Which is weird because, like, so he shows up naked and he he says he's now human, and then they give him clothes. But then, like, when Q shows up, the other Q, he's wearing the same clothes. So yeah, how did that he was know? weird. Did, did I he took ask it as a, as a way of like mocking him? That, that's the only way I could take it. It's what like, you, wait, uh, wait. look at those stupid human clothes they're making you wear. I'm wearing them too. Oh yeah, yeah. He um he does it to like make fun of them because he'll he'll basically wear costumes. He'll be like, this is what your general look like. This is what. It's so the other Q like. was like, oh, I see what you're wearing. I'm just going to copy it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's just kind of, okay. yeah. Because I was confused too when he showed up that way. And was like, Cause they don't Because oh. the, the other Q shows up as a human just for contrivance's sake. Like, well, the, the Q's costume right now shows off his package quite a bit. I mean, I oh, was, yeah. it's very. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's got like. A m- moose knuckle the, going on. <laughs> it's, like, <laughs> it's, like a, uh-huh. it's like a gray sweatpants situation where you're just like, whoa. Like, yeah. I, when, I don't know. Was that it's on tight. purpose? Like it's, it's very, very tight. tight. It's very tight in that area. Yeah. yeah. Very high waisted. Very high. It's like a onesie. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. It's thing. like they couldn't find um they, they try to get them closed really quickly and they're like, we just have this size. And, then and this away. show loves their onesies. Like they're like The future is about onesies. Yeah. Yeah. Everyone wears onesies in the future. Anyway. And so he's like, hey, this goddamn pervert. Uh, the these perverts that I that I roll with, they took my powers away. They took me Lucky Charms, and then yeah. everyone like Data is like, "Oh, it seems like it's true. He just he's he's human." And Deandra is like, hey, "I feel something. Uh, <laughs> it feels terrified." And then uh, this, I will say, this is a fun episode just because he lost his powers. I, I think he's not really fucking with people, and he's just whiny. He's like a 
It's funny because he, he could have picked to be anything and he picked to be human, which is stupid. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. It's like well, it's revealed that he chose humanity because he, he this is the only species he's come across that's willing to protect him. Yeah, so, yeah. You, that's what you find out. And then he's yeah. like, uh, but it, it, he has a lot of funny lines because he's like, oh man, I have to eat now and I have to be scared and I have to sneeze and I have to do this. He he, he like just rattles off things that are human. Mm-hmm. Right. I have to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> yeah. I'm feeling a pain in, in my stomach. I thought he was going to like shit himself when he said that. I was like, oh, <laughs> oh you better go to the bathroom, Q. <laughs> yeah, they, they didn't easily had one of those scenes. Yeah, they did not make that joke. <laughs> no, yeah. but she was like, oh, you're hungry. And I was like, oh, I would have gone the opposite direction. I've been like, I don't know. Man. Did you have Taco Bell or something? Like, I mean, they essentially <laughs> did this with Bender in A Tale of Interest. Yeah, this is, it's the same concept, essentially. Yeah. Uh, and then he goes, um, he goes, man, I should have, I should have picked to be, I should have picked, um, to be a, a Warfian. And, and he's like, and then he's like, oh man, he's like, as a fellow Warfian, please, can you help me? Like, you know, how you, can you help a brother out? And Warf is like, shut the fuck up, dude. Yeah. And he puts him in the brig and stuff. They, ha- and- they have one of my favorite actually interactions in Star Trek in that scene where he's talking to Worf. This is, this is oh, actually the little it. elevator thing. No, no, before that, because this, mm. this is actually something I really enjoy from, because it's because Q's final insult is so strange. I have no powers. Q the ordinary. Q the liar. Q the misanthrope. Q the miserable. Q the desperate. What must I do to convince you people? Die. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's okay. <laughs> oh, very clever, Worf. Eat any good books lately? <laughs> it's, the, it's the eat any good books lately I'm like such a weird comeback <laughs> why does everyone everyone's like go to insult for Worf is like you're stupid like yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. like, yeah, why, like why why is that like uh, yeah, it's, it's like, like a, I find it so insulting that like everyone that wants like from um what's the the Romulans to like this yeah, well, guy, the Romulans everyone's are, just like you're fucking stupid. Like, well, because well, oh, the Romulans yeah. are racist, so that's that. But, but, like, <laughs> everyone is like <laughs> these like stereotypical things that like they've come up for Worf. It's just like he gets insulted so much. Like he gets shit on a lot, which is like kind of not fair because Worf went through Starfleet Academy. Which is really difficult. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You have to probably be really read. smart. <laughs> probably read at least a little bit. He yeah, probably, probably ate yeah. so many books. I mean. <laughs> yeah. Probably, probably well, actually, what had a lot of drink. Drink. Gent. <laughs> <laughs> The driest books. The yes. Books. <laughs> actually, uh, it's, it's, it's a little it's known fact. W- what what's fucked up? I don't know that they always they always insult him. Like they pick on him a lot. You know. Yeah. Well, it, it's fine because what people don't know is that Klingons, uh, the pr- the chief way they absorb knowledge is by eating. <laughs> How do they absorb power? Do they by by eating. <laughs> I mean, oh. uh, maybe that's part of the process eventually. I don't know all the specifics. <laughs> they eat a lot of enchiladas. Um, Wait, is that for real? Yeah, like they like they love in, they love Mexican food. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Of course, it's real. I wouldn't like why, it. Why do you think Tapatio is yeah. integrated into their culture? Yeah. Of course. I get it now. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Clean the, well, mix. Yeah. They're called <laughs> the Tapatians. Um, all right. So then they're like, um, so what the fuck are we going to do with this fucking asteroid? And then this bright light shows up and they're like, oh, what the fuck, dude? What's this bright light? Why does it look like there's a camera flash going on? You know what I hate? I'm gonna go on a little rant. I hate when old people are using fucking cameras, and <laughs> and they're in, they're like in say let's say it's dark and like they're taking pictures of fucking stupid ass fireworks or they're at Disneyland <laughs> and, and they're, they're it's n- at nighttime mm-hmm. sure. and their flash goes off and you're like mm. a fucking idiot. Cell phones weren't just invented like two days ago. <laughs> yeah, like turn the flash Figure off. Figure it fucking yeah. out. Yeah, like well, like people they're like, oh, my phone went off. It's like we've had. At least yeah. 20 years to figure this out. More than that. <laughs> well, you know what, Ricardo? These are the same people who, given a normal camera, would not figure out the flash on that camera either. That's true. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. It isn't There's- just the fact that it's a phone. It's the fact that it's technology at all. Yeah. I think it's the fact that they've had time to figure it out. So get your shit together. Figure yeah. It out. Yeah. You, you have know? nothing but time. So yeah. either figure it out or die. Uh, anyway, <laughs> uh, so they, they go visit Q and they're like, what's this fucking bright light, dude? And they're like, oh, these like mini chlorines. Again, a little fucking bright light is after yeah. them. I hate yeah. this fucking bit, dude. I hate <laughs> it. The little bright light's after them. And they're like, oh, those are mini chlorines and they're after me because I, I treated them like shit. And now that they know that I'm human, they want to kill me. 
I do like that the bright light is probably just them like opening up the camera aperture. Probably, yeah, that's what I, it seems. Yeah, I, that I was think, a cool thing. Yeah, I think it was in post production. Like they're like, oh, it's gonna be really bright. Oh, they just, just bleached to... it. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. It, it seems like it's just because no one's like going, oh my god, it's so bright. Everyone's just like, oh, this is fine. It's just very bright right now. <laughs> just walking around. And yeah, then, the, cool. and then, and then that's when you find out that oh, he just wanted them to protect him the whole time because he's a fool and he fuck with too many people, and so he's like, uh, you know, like just, just he's like, let me help you guys. I'll help you like uh, figure it out. Let me out of here. And so basically, uh, he gives, uh, he gives Data the task of like chaperoning Q around, mm-hmm. and this is a cool team up because you have someone yeah. who's not human, two people who are not human trying to do human shit. Yeah. Um. From two different perspectives. One Very hates being a human. Yeah. One wants to be a human. Yeah. 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 And um, the first thing they do is they go talk to Jordy and and, and Q is a fucking whiner, dude, as a, as a human being. <laughs> oh, whining is. about shit. All the time. I really don't like that. And then, um, and then uh, he's like, oh, I got back pain. And then Beverly shows up and she's... Q is like, oh, you probably have hor- you you have horrible bed- bedside manner. I bet you your patient your your patients always want to leave. And I want I wanted to say like they're always dead. <laughs> they can't leave because they're dead. She's like the Doctor Kavorkian of her time. <laughs> she like mercy kills everybody, but nobody who actually wants to get mercy <laughs> killed. It's just funny because she's curing his back, and even the act of curing his back seems to be painful. Like it's for everything in this future where like a slight swipe seems to just cure everything. Yeah. Like, like in Star Trek four, uh, this is older technology and bones cures cancer with the swipe of a tool. Yeah. And then so they that- figured, <laughs> and then they realized that it was way maybe, too easy. <laughs> maybe she's making him suffer on purpose. I mean, nobody likes him. So she's kind of uh, like, mm. I guess that's possible. She's just, I mean, th- it's Beverly, that makes her a malicious course. doctor. Yeah. I mean, are we surprised? I'm not. She's probably like, we can do this the hard way. Or the harder way and the like, you know, yeah, painful. Yeah. And then. <laughs> that wasn't so, even a real medical procedure. No. <laughs> she's just like, hey, I'm going to put something in your butt, a suppository. And he's like, for what? And he's like, uh, it, humans use them all the time. It's, yeah. um, it's a, you just have to. Yeah, you just have yeah, to take it. I mean, she does pleasure. have this like look on her face. Like she's kind of like this like, mm, okay, I'm going to do this thing. But she's kind of like grinning. She's like, look, you're going to feel a little pressure in your butthole. Uh, just grind your sheet a little bit, um, <laughs> and then and then um, they figure out that he's kind of hungry. So Data takes him to the to the uh, to the Denny's uh, in the Starship, <laughs> yeah. and then they're like, "Hey, um, order something." And he's like, well, "What do I order?" And he's basically like, "Well, it, it depends on how you feel that is what you eat, basically." And he's like, "What do people eat when they're like? What, is, what does he say? He's he's uh he's, he's in a dreadful um, mood. Yeah. yeah, he's in a bad mood. Yeah. So he's like." He's like, oh, I think usually what what like the counselor eats is like Sundays, like a Sunday. I love that they brought that back because yeah. from another episode when <laughs> Troy was having a bad day, she's like, he's I want to eat a real Sunday. Yeah, the Susan Ooh. B. Timbers episode. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and so he's like, uh, she loves Sundays and she likes them the way old uh, Bagul intended. She likes them with natural sugar, dude. None of that fake shit. <laughs> and, then, and then Q orders. To be fair, like, though, what they bring out later does look pretty good. I'd eat it. Yeah, yeah. They, they they bring he orders eight Sundays, which sucks. Dude, ten, 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 ten. Sorry. Ten uh, but what gets me is that Data <laughs> introduces the concept of food to uh, Q inside of Ten Forward as like the replicator can make anything you desire without making any distinction that you know the food at a place like Ten Forward is any better. So does Ten Forward only serve replicated food? Mm, <gasps> that's a good question. I, I don't know. Like, is it just a place you go and you can pretend you're in a restaurant? Maybe. I mean, it I, I mean like, it's a good meeting place. There's lots of seating. You can, you know. It might just be chill, like a, a nice out. gathering place, maybe. And and also there's a bar that right. you could, someone will just hand you the drink they've replicated for you. Yeah. Yeah. And also just hand you a new old drink. Time's sake. So then, so then uh, what's her name? Kaylin shows up. Galen. G- Galen? No. Um, what's her name? No. Uh, G- Guinan, 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 Guinan. What's up, fuckers? Did, oh, I get listeners. It? did I get it? Did I, I get it? Did. Guinan? I think you did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah? Did like, she get it? Hmm? Did she get it? 
Guinan. Yes or no? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I was just staying quiet. I wanted to see where this Woo-hoo. would go. Me and Ricardo <laughs> are so bad at this. We're so bad at names. Apparently. So she, she doesn't show up good at this. Yeah, yeah she doesn't show up often. This. She shows up. She shows up, and she's like, she's like, well, 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 well. Look, looks like the tables have turned. And he's yep. like, well, what do you mean? And he, she gets one of those space forks that seem very oh dangerous. Oh, my God. <laughs> like, they, they don't seem like... They don't seem like they would work as a as a utensil to eat to eat food. I don't understand. It seems very forks. spiky. Yeah, it's like one of like the original like f- forks they made in France for royalty, where it's like yeah, not good for anything. Yeah, like like they expected them to pick up uh, like a single pea at a time with this fork. Ugh, that's what that's <laughs> I will say. Guinan looks amazing in this episode. I that's love her That's why the French have lost so many battles. <laughs> they couldn't eat their peas yeah, fast. Couldn't enough. eat their peas fast enough to get very <laughs> oh shot in the my back. God. I just watched her stab him. Yeah, so she stabs him. She's like, well, fuck you. Uh, she's like, run away from this, you bitch. Poof. And he's yeah. like, ah, yeah, he's human enough. <laughs> How and come there's like, no blood, though? Like, there's no blood anywhere. It just seems well, like that was such an intense. He's got, he's, he's, he is like jerky gent and he's dry as fuck, dude. <laughs> he's no he's very dehydrated. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You gotta think he hasn't eaten as a human for a long time, so. Mm. So then the little light comes in and it attacks him a little bit in the in the thing, and he's like, "Oh boy, my appendix!" And he touches his appendix side. Yeah. And then he does like a weird like a uh, Beetlejuice dance. Remember yeah. when Beetlejuice <laughs> makes people dance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and he looks like that. Makes and he's like, "Oh boy!" And he, he he's he goes like <laughs> he goes full Jerry Lewis on in that scene. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Yeah, without the, I would love to just have the shot of it without the special effect on top. And the just, noises from set, you just look at, him. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just wiggling, <laughs> and you find out that these these ghouls, these uh, this ionized salt or something, is like trying to get him. <laughs> <laughs> and and they're like, oh, these these things. I was I was I was kind of addicted to them, and they're now like I'm human, and they want to kill me. So. Yeah. Oh, another thing. This is another thing George Lucas stole. They're named Calamarians. Ah. And Calamarians. Ca- Calamarians. And, and, well, actually, <laughs> no, he didn't steal this. In fact, Star Trek stole this because um, what's his face? Uh, the, it's a trap. Admiral Akbar was already yeah. a Mon Calamari. Yeah, Never mind. Did. All right. Mm. Also, I, calamari look. is a well-known <laughs> concept. <laughs> it's calamari. much, much <laughs> older than any of this. Yeah. Calamari is actually delicious. Calamari. Really yum. Yeah. I, I so, so this mon calamari dude from from um, from the other thing. Yeah. Uh, that shall not be mentioned because people will be like, oh, fuck. I thought this was a goddamn fucking Star Trek show, you <laughs> pieces of shit. Uh, <laughs> you guys are talking about fucking Star Wars? Stop talking. Uh, st- <laughs> you guys don't know anything about anything. So I th- always thought he looked delicious, dude. <laughs> I, I, like, I like to eat it. You know what I mean? It, just cook him up a little bit. And you mean then, that like, Yeah, dude. <laughs> Oh my yeah. gosh, that yeah. guy! Yeah, think about it, it, dude. That depends on whether that head is like full of like a cuttlefish bone or if it's like actual <laughs> oh edible God. flesh up there. It's all edible fleshiness, dude. Does it's he have like, like a nice. really big, delicious have tail? You, have you ever eaten um, like Mexican tacos <laughs> called tacos de cabeza? It's mm, like cow, yeah, cow brain. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, they're delicious, yes. dude. Yeah, they delicious are delicious. Shit. But my you could turn eat you could cow turn cow Akbar into some ceviche, man. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. The this calamari dude from Star Trek. Bam, dude. We cook him up a little bit get, get ourselves some like get one of those like pots that you put like crabs in and and and, uh, and, and, and veggies like corn and like yeah do a cajun boil yeah yeah mm. dude yeah, boil them up dude there. yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> throw, throw in some it. old bay and some spices yeah yeah get it going yeah, yeah. some yeah. sausage some yum. corn some potatoes hell yeah Ooh, dude. got yourself a stew going you yeah. know yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Put those in in a, in a in a in some water, and you got yourself a stew, baby. Um, <laughs> so they're like, oh, every time we try to lower shields to to get a hold of the asteroid to move it, uh, the the salt people show up and they, they try to hurt them. Yeah. So and this happens a couple times, and and so the the, the people in the planet they're like, oh my god, the moon's even closer. You guys you guys really fucked up, dude. <laughs> What's going on up there? I thought you guys were cool, man. No, you were and, helping us. Yeah, yeah. He's like, we haven't even. And he's like, well, you should start evacuating. He's like, he's like, well, god damn it! I thought you guys were going to help us, so we didn't. Yeah, well, evacuate oh, shit. anybody. Oh. Yeah, yeah. God damn it, dude. We should have called somebody else, dude. Should have called the Borg. Uh, at least they have cool iPods. And um, he shows up and he he goes to Jordy again. He's like, hey, let's do this, dude. 
let's figure this out, dude. I'm going to help you guys. And he tries to help them. And he does his, he's so bored when he, when he's helping them. <laughs> yeah. He's like, all right. Mm. And he fucking gets attacked again by the assault. And mm. this time they attack fucking data, dude. Mm-hmm. It's a, mm. it's some serious fucking shit. Yes, Cause they're trying to uh, tear him off of the ship. And yeah. Then yeah data and then data him. like grabs him. Yeah. Yeah. Get shocked. Yeah. And then and then he does he does a Jerry Lewis dance again. Oi. Uh, and so <laughs> the they're island. both the island boys. Uh, oh, <laughs> yes. Did we really work that in? Oh yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah, all yeah. right. I love it. And so Q's fine, but Data's like all fucked up, dude, because all his circuits are all fried. And they're like, oh man, a little more, and he would have been dead forever. And they're like, see Q, you piece of shit, dude. We're tired of this shit, dude. You're, you killed our best dude here. He's the smartest guy in the fucking ship. And everyone's pissed at him, and he's like, get the fuck out of here, dude. And then uh, Q goes to uh, the captain's quarters. I don't know what room this is. It, it always changes. His ready like, room. His ready room. Oh, Marvin, I don't know what this, <laughs> what, what this gibberish means. <laughs> so he goes in there, and the captain, what is he What is he drinking, dude? Fucking tea, dude. Yeah, Earl Teeing Grey. Mm, yeah, yeah, his Earl Grey. Yeah, he's like, yeah, dude. Got he's now Earl living Grey. his his... His British. catchphrases as as much as he can. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So then he's like, "Hey," and then he does he does a very stupid thing, which is he sits on his desk. Mm, yeah, <laughs> very yeah, awkwardly. It's really, it's really weird. <laughs> it's really. I guess they're trying to they're trying to per, they're trying to portray that he's he's not human, so he doesn't know how to sit. Period. Because he's <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, like it makes sense. Like he's a fish out of water. You know what I mean, so he yeah. sits down right in front of him, and he's like, "Oh man, like it's uh Jean Luc." Ah. Um, and he calls like, him Jean-Luc. Jean-Luc, but Jean-Luc, uh, it's my fault, dude. Uh, I, you know, I would, consider, I would consider it a stroke of genius if the costume designer intentionally put no pockets on that outfit for Q to make sure he was constantly awkward with no yeah. place to put his hands. Yeah. But they did that uh, for everyone. Yeah. That's how I, I started smoking, true. dude. Because I don't know, <laughs> in high school, I was like, where do I put my hands? And my pockets <laughs> doesn't look natural. So I was like, oh, fuck, I smoke, dude. You know, uh, that's, that's not a- even the first time I've heard that, like, story as to the origins of, of a smoker. Like, yeah. I, I think it's more way more common than people yeah, think. Yeah, it is course. very common. Very yeah. common. Dan Just and like I our friend some- Common. <laughs> yeah. Dan and I knew someone who said he started smoking because he wanted an excuse to leave, like, a social setting and go, excuse that's me, I'm going to go smoke. <laughs> yeah, that's a great excuse. Yeah. Yeah. But Until you find me. people that, that are like, oh, can I bum a smoke off of you? And you're like, God damn. You're like, no. <laughs> no, no, dude. You're not a smoker, dude. Get out of here, dude. That's my thing, dude. You piece of shit. <laughs> so then um he's like, ah, fuck. He's like the 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 one dude who's like not a human who wants to be a human sacrifice himself for me. That's deep shit, dude. He's like, uh, uh I think I have to leave, dude. He's like, get he's like, turn let, let, turn me in. Turn me in and let them take me. And like that way you guys won't get attacked anymore. And and uh and basically kind of confesses that he's a fucking Bitch ass fool. Yeah, he's mm-hmm. his um, feelings now, and he understands yeah, yeah. that he's he's a little bitch. <laughs> and so, <laughs> Wait, he goes, is it to be understood that he has feelings now, like because he's a human? Or? Yeah, I think it's more of like a perspective thing. N- okay, now, before that would be that would be more meaningful. Yeah, I think it's before Damn. that he had he's no like a Terminator. Con- the more he spends with humans, the more he, the more <laughs> human he becomes. The more contact I have with humans, the more I learn. Yeah, <laughs> take the chip off my head. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's a scene where as John Delancey is falling or into space, he puts his fing- his thumb up and he drifts off into space. Uh, it should have been Arnold, dude. Imagine Arnold as Q. Ah, I'm not human, you idiot. Uh, <laughs> that would have been great. I'd loved it, dude. I'm a just missed opportunity. It's like his like his jingle all the way like character <laughs> as mm-hmm. Q. Yeah. Why dude, am I stuck on the Enterprise? Dude. I need a Turbo Man doll. Danny DeVito yeah. as a fucking Picard man. in an <laughs> alternate version. Yeah. Oh, that, that would be a really funny <laughs> yeah. parody version of it where it's yeah. <laughs> Danny, no, Danny DeVito Picard. totally works as a Jean Luc. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. absolutely. Imagine he, the, the jumpsuit that he's it's on his awkward ass body. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, this um, jumpsuit doesn't fit my Magnum dog. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Like, where do you want to go, Captain? Where do you want to go, Captain? It's like to bang some whores. Um, <laughs> whores. Um, all right. <laughs> so uh, anyway, so he said he basically is like, ah, fuck, dude. Like this is uh, 
he has a moment with data basically. And then eh, it's the, you know what? I hate you and I hate, I've hated every goddamn episode, but this one, you're right. This one's fun. This one's fun. It's and fun. Cause you, he's very vulnerable, but he has all of the perspective of a Q. So it's like, it's fun to see him getting kicked around. It's yeah. fun to see war finally get to like control him and have yep. his comeuppance with them. I mean, and I really true. enjoyed them talking about, you know, theories on what it's like to be human, like the good things about wanting to be human, the good parts. Yeah. And like, like the, the emotions, the human nature to want to help. All the little know, emotions. And- and the you know. and the buddy team up with Data is a really good idea. And the, yeah. and, the, yeah. and, the, and the fact that Data is like explaining to him like, hey, humans tend to work in teams and like yeah, this, is how, yeah. this is how an office works and you have a boss yeah. and you need to listen to your boss or you're going to get fucked. Yeah. And Jor- he's like, Jordy believes he's in charge and he's and correct. he is. He is in charge. <laughs> he's like, I notice humans like to work in groups and teams and like that's yeah, what they yeah, do. Yeah, he is and- working kind of like a, as like an anthropology professor. Yeah. yeah, yeah Which yeah, is yeah. kind of, it's kind of cool. It kind of makes you be like, yeah, humans are nice, cool. They can be. They can get shit done, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Um, you know. And then, nice. and then, and, and then you have a. Uh, it's fucking. This is really stupid. You have them and they're like, oh man, the tractor beam's not working anymore. <laughs> shit, dude. <laughs> and nothing's yeah. working. The asteroid's gonna kill those people, dude. Those poor Everything people. Everything's not working. Yeah, yeah. It's gonna be exactly like the movie twenty twenty one. Um, <laughs> and then, and then Q hijacks a fucking transporter and he beats the shit out of fucking Jason Statham. Uh, oh, surprisingly. <laughs> and he, he takes off in one of the transporters and he, he does his selfish thing. Yeah. <sighs> yeah <Martin. laughs> Shuttlecraft. Which I'm amazed he was able to access. Like, why was it so easy for him to like? Because he's smart, I think. I think. Also, yes, I think everyone just... kind of just has access to everything. Like, yeah. But like, remember, well, he's, remember he's, he's a prisoner. Of... He shouldn't have access well, to everything. Well, yeah, but like, remember the end of season one where the the un- unfrozen people just could talk to anybody in the ship? Whatever That's they true. wanted. That's he true. just walked onto the bridge. Yeah. He's like, they're like, I say, I say, I say, who Where's won the World Series? <laughs> Where's there is my an appalling Enron amount. Stocks? Yeah. Yeah. There's an appalling <laughs> amount of honor system on the Enterprise. Yeah. yeah there yeah. is a lot. And a lot of, you know, not supervision, no supervision. You know? Yeah. That kid that, that lost to Wesley to get a shot at Starfleet Academy took a shuttle craft out too. And everyone was huh. like, what the fuck? None of this is locked down. There are no keys to anything. You, you can yeah, just like, apparently not. <laughs> it's a big problem because we keep on being told by this show. It's like, hey, this is an advanced future where humanity has evolved past the need for X, Y, Z. But we're all st- everyone on the show is still doing the same stupid human bullshit. Yeah, yeah. And so he leaves and he hijacks the plane, and then his friend shows up. Uh, another Q. He's a Q, 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 Q. <laughs> And he's like, hey, what's up, pal? And it turns out they're all Beetlejuice people. They all fucking are annoying. This guy looks like Willem Dafoe, no? Blonde. He looks like Willem Dafoe meets like Jack Tripper from Three's Company. Mm. Yeah. Right? I also, I A little bit of Jack Nicholson, too. Young Jack Nicholson, maybe. Oh, yeah. That's right. I I said he kind of looked like he had like Brian Cranston look and energy, the way he's acting. He looks like every dude. A little bit. Yeah, Yeah. he does kind of look like all of these people in a weird way. My my read on this is that the Q continuum is just a bitter improv troupe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. (laughs) Yeah. Where everyone is like, you know, overly dramatic and theatrical and they gesticulate all the goddamn time. And every single time they're like fucking with people, it's actually like uh, an improv session. Yeah, (laughs) yeah. (laughs) I never known a more annoying person than someone who does improv. <laughs> Seriously. I think, I think that's I think that's one hundred percent true. I can uh back that uh, up from personal when, experience. You, when you meet somebody <laughs> when you meet somebody and they're annoying and you're like so what's up? Like so, you you went to college? You're like yeah, yeah. I did, uh, are, are you an actor? Well, I did, I did a little improv, and you're like, God damn it! I knew it. I knew this guy was a goddamn improv. <laughs> they have to qualify like that, or if they define themselves via improv, that's a problem. Yeah. 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 Yes, one hundred percent. I do enjoy I this. myself. Uh, some whose line is it anyway? I mean, it's, oh, of course. Uh, that's that's course. quite a fun. Okay, funny that's show. top tier. That's but that's, that's like that's you, your your improv has to be very good. 
Yeah, in order it's to an be uncanny funny. level of improv. When you have and it's also the yeah. best of like, s- like several hour long sessions too. Like that's it true. Wasn't, yeah, Marvin. Yeah. You know, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Marvin, I like the Batman movies, but I don't like the dudes that hang out in Hollywood Boulevard, dude. <laughs> <laughs> don't, don't, don't exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yes, exactly. That is exactly, exactly it. One hundred percent. That's, exactly, exactly, yeah. 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 that's yeah. the comparison. Yeah. So, yeah. so these guys are, are, are the improv troupe, like Dan said, and they're like, "Hey, dude," he's like, "Oh, tell me, tell me, you didn't do a selfless act, buddy." Oh, he's really. Little juicing it up, dude. And he's like, he's like, um, he's like, no, no, I just, you know, it was just like, I need to get out of there and like get out the fuck out of here before they kill me. And he's like, oh, pal, not a little bit, uh, a little bit of selfishness, huh? Tell me. Uh. And he's like, yeah, I guess so. I did a little. And then he's like, well, I can't go back to my people and tell them that, you know, you, um, you did something selfless. And then like, we got to investigate and blah, blah. And it's a real fucking Beetlejuice routine that he's this guy's doing. <laughs> a lot of mm-hmm. fucking overacting with his hands. A, yep. a lot of hand acting. Yeah. yeah. And he's like, well, you know, like that's um that's what I do. You know, I'm selfless. I'm human now. And he's like, well, I got to give you your powers back then. And he's like, bada bing, bada boom. And then he leaves and he gets powers. And the first thing he does is he's going <laughs> to fuck up the salt people, dude. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He's like, you fuckers want to kill me? I'll kill you. And then the, the other Q shows up and he's like, he's like, Q? Like I'm sorry, dude. I thought, I'm just checking to see if you're if you're really watching. And then Q <laughs> shows a up. Floating head. Yeah, yeah Q yeah. shows up. If I can dress as a mariachi, just being a fucking annoying person again, dude. This was yeah. really jarring. <laughs> That's again, what, and then again, he says, Capitan. again, doing doing shit. He does doing shit. Improv people do. This is what somebody. <laughs> yeah, would, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, they're like, give, give me a setting, uh, mar- uh, like a mariachi continuing. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> give me, uh, give me the, give me the hat, yeah. give me yeah, the yeah, hat, yeah. and uh, yeah. yeah, I got it. Yeah. The guitar. Oh, is this? This is the. This is the most annoying combo. It is improv comedy combined with prop comedy, or with oh, mu- yeah. musical <laughs> comedy, musical comedy with musical improv prop comedy. improv oh. comedy. <laughs> oh Jesus! Yes, that is the worst combination of comedy. Uh, Absolutely. The, it, band. If Jim Carrey had done this part, he would have sold it. The, the, Look, right. I'm not saying, oh, yeah, I can well, believe you. I'm not saying this actor is not a good actor. I'm saying like these bits are Jim Carrey bits and only Jim Carrey could do them. Or, yeah. Robin, or Robin Williams. Sure, um, sure. Yeah. Um, so he's doing this bit and he's like, ah, oh, come on, Capitan. And he puts cigars in their mouth, <laughs> which is funny. <laughs> <laughs> and then he's like, "Come on, dude." He's like, "He's like, he's like, Riker, dude. Come on, dude. Mi hermano." He's like, uh, "He's like, I'm immortal again. I can fuck again." <laughs> Riker's like, "Swell." <laughs> he's like, "Come on, dude. I'm gonna. I have good fortune, so I'm gonna share my good fortune with you, my man." And he's like, uh, he puts the ladies there. Ladies are very scantily clad. Wow, dude. the ladies oh, yeah. are. Yeah, that's dude. um a lot wow. of under boob, a lot of side boob. Yeah, a lot. Yeah, dude. <laughs> a lot. Everything he's but like- the center. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, and, and they're all they're touching they're touching up on Riker. I don't need your fantasy women. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. <laughs> and he's like, he's like Riker. Ever since you got the beard, you're not funny, and you're not fun anymore. You idiot. And he he swaps. <laughs> yeah, him he over doesn't to believe Worf. in the beard theory. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, he puts him to Worf, and Worf's like, I kind of like. And Worf's this. like, kind of okay. With <laughs> yeah, Worf's like, ah, he's like, I approve. <laughs> the lady looks like. Let me go back. It looks I mean, like that was some was easy like, money for those ladies. Just like yeah. you know, rub up on two guys <laughs> for a day. No, what if it, they're not into into guys, dude? Dan, you don't know that, dude. Well, like for a ladies. very short amount of time. They're I'm like, not saying that, like, they, that they had to enjoy the whole thing. It's just that like, it was a very little like, amount please, of work. Can we rub up on on, <laughs> on Counselor Troy? And they're like, no. And they're like, oh well, we're not gonna have <laughs> fun. Do it on your own time. Yeah. Wow. I mean, they're they're definitely. Very attractive ladies they got yeah. for this. These are the type of ladies that uh, Sidaris would would cast in like uh, hard <laughs> yeah, ticket yeah. to Hawaii, you know? Yeah, hard ticket. They're they're the girls who would be like, <clears throat> we have to figure out who's yeah. selling all these drugs. Yeah, but first let's, let's get naked and go in the jacuzzi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's so yeah, funny dude. when when the girls get you know snapped away from Worf. He looks so like sad for yeah. Him. Yeah, he's like, devastated. Hmm. Yeah. He's like, Jordy is like just that. completely non-reactive at all. Well, he can't see any of it, so that's why. Uh, <laughs> uh, take that, Jordy, you uh, blind uh. idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Jordy's like, I don't know what's going on, but... Uh, if you're um, blind, I'm sorry. I didn't mean that. Like, it's, it's just, no, it's, we're, it's we're just shock comedy. We're, that's we're fucking... I'm sorry. So then he's like, all right, fuck it, dude. Uh, we're going to do the stupid thing now. We're going to give uh, the boy... Uh-huh. 
Pinocchio, we're gonna give him a fucking gift. And he's like, ah, you're gonna make a human? I don't wanna I don't wanna do that. I wanna learn about humanity. I don't wanna just be human. And he's like, no, dude. I'm gonna give you one parting gift. And he's like, bada bing, bada boom. And he leaves, and then fucking Dita loses it, dude. <laughs> Dita loses it, and he's laughing. And- that was so weird. That yeah. that scene where Data is just laughing. Yeah. It, I always like- thought it was odd because there's no trigger for the laughter. Like there's nothing no. funny to laugh at. It's just like, hey, yeah. I'm gonna give you a hysterical laughing fit only, for which is wh- probably part of the package of becoming human that I could have given you. But right. I'll just give you this but that part. Is, and I mean, but that is, I related to that because like there are a few things. I can think of a couple moments in my life where I've had, I've had uncontrollable laughter where you're just, you just cannot stop. And yeah, yeah. there's the a point at which it becomes self-sustaining. Things, yeah. The things that have triggered me in the past are so dumb now that I think about it. But I, this may reminded me of those moments where I'm just laughing and everybody's looking at me. Marvin knows I've definitely had yeah. some fits of laughter. I forget what it was. Like but data. Th- there was a point where you were laughing just because you, you were like, why, why do I find this so funny? Oh and yeah. You couldn't stop. <laughs> oh, there's tons of things that I yeah. find funny that are just, one of them was a song and I read a YouTube comment that someone commented oh, yeah. and I could not stop laughing because <laughs> of what the person commented. Yeah, yeah, and I just, I just could not stop. So that is one of human, a human's joy. I think. Yeah, think? I, I think, I think <laughs> it is like a, a weird laughing fit, and I, it was really funny. And then he, he kind of snaps out of it right away, and yeah. he's like, ah, and they're like, what the fuck, dude? What the fuck? It's like, it felt good like, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then the 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 cat people are like, hey, everything's all gravy over here, and they're like, what do you mean it's gravy? He's like, yeah, the moon's back to its normal rotation. Shit, they're like, ah. Oh, you Fucking did it, Q, dude. We did it, and they take the credit. They don't say, "Oh, that wasn't us. That was our, those are." Uh, yeah. they're like, <laughs> they're well, like oh, <laughs> you know, we'll send you the bill, and uh, you know, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah." This also a, kind of know? reminds me of those like Christmas specials that ends with like, "But then who?" And there's some gift there that no one but yeah. Santa could have left. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then you hear like the jingle bells. And, yeah. Oh, 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 oh. yeah. Yeah. In the distance like, and yeah. everyone's like, oh. How many a Christmas oh. movie has ended this way? Many. It's one of the best like, endings that that you damn can have. Santa. Yeah. That yeah. damn Santa. And then and then they're like, well, a job well done. You know, all's well that ends well. And, and then the, the captain all's- sits down and he's like. He's like, well, perhaps there's a there's a residue in human of humanity in Q after all. And he's about to say engage, and a cigar appears in his in his hand. That old <laughs> yeah. that old pervert, yeah. and, that old uh, jokester. <laughs> yeah, and uh, and then they they they, uh, they hit the road and go Uber somebody else. Yep, on another I planet. wonder, like, do they know how? Like, have they ever smoked a cigar before? Oh, uh, maybe. Would these people have um, done such a I thing? I think Picard, yes. Picard, yes. I, I mean, like, like if human vices still exist, right? So, like, they still drink. Right, I but imagine. are cigars exactly as they used to be, or they, like, synthahol-ify they're, cigars they're, as well, and tobacco? S- and synthaco. Yeah, it could have been synthaco. Synthabacco. Uh, maybe. I don't think I don't think Q would send them a, a, a synth cigar. Maybe a real Well, Q one, wouldn't. Right? Right. Well, isn't that well, what? Well, no, we're just uh, unsure if they've ever smoked before in their life. Oh, because <laughs> right. yeah. like I he gives them cigars and they just hold what? them. Smoke like, what? What are we talking about? Weed, crack, um, anything? I don't know if they amazing. smoke. I mean, what <laughs> we saw were stogies. There could have they could have been filled with anything. But it's true. The it's the true. the shape was suggestive of your standard cigar. I think Picard has. He seems like a guy that has in the past. <laughs> Maybe he he definitely smoked some weed, dude, in his time. <laughs> yeah. In his younger, Definitely. wilder days, yeah, yeah, dude. And uh, all's well is uh, how's it, how's the saying go? All's well that it ends well. Uh, yeah. Whatever. All's shit. well that <laughs> ends well. Uh, I enjoyed this 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 episode a lot. It was fun, even though it had a cue in it. I was very yeah. surprised. Um, I did have to go back a bit. You were you were saying, uh, Sarah, about the 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 laughing fit. I thought there was an in joke that they had said before, and I had missed it. And they're like, maybe he. He gave him the ability to remember the or to like figure out the joke. That could have been really cool, like bit like oh they yeah, say, like, they set it up. Joke, yeah. He said he doesn't get it. Yeah, and then he oh, that would have been great. Oh. It could have been just like Mary Poppins. Oh, that's yeah. now yeah. I really want that yeah. for the episode. It could have been, been like going, a wooden leg named Smith. Yeah, or <laughs> it could have been 
Yeah. Like somebody in the background going pop pop, and people kept laughing. Like, oh man, this guy's funny. And they're like, oh. he's like, why do people laugh when he says pop pop? And they're like, oh, you wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it, dude. Yeah. And then, and then constantly throws the episode pop pop. You know what? Q should have left. Q should have left Data a video of carrot top. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Data yeah. just can't stop. You know, he just thinks he's the funniest thing in the world. Yeah. He can't stop laughing. Wait, does anybody <laughs> have? I want to know. Viral. Does anybody have like a random thing that like made them laugh uncontrollably? That's stupid. Oh, I'm sure there has been. I just never you, remember what it is. You never, you don't I remember. Know. I have, just, I have a video. I have uh, mostly mine are YouTube videos. Like, there's a video. Oh, those fail videos. Those are funny. There's a, a specific video that I would show everybody at at, at our work where I, we work with Marvin. It was a video of a guy in a jet ski oh, and he's yes. riding by the shore <laughs> and it blows up and the guy flies off like ten feet above the jet ski and then. I, I laughed, right? I, I would laugh at it. And then like, I started watching it again and there's so many things happening in the background, <laughs> like so many yes. little things happening and they would just make me laugh even harder. And I couldn't even I, I remember a recent one, which was a response to when I sent it to you, you sent me that one. Mine was this guy goes to sit down on the couch and the yeah. couch is oh, filled. Yeah, yeah. It like just ejects him from the couch. It's like a weird, <laughs> and something yeah. inflates extremely yeah. rapidly. Uh, like yeah. an airbag. And, like, yeah. And, yeah. It, like, like, like he, just, it, yeah. he just it he just shoots out of the he sofa. Fl- flies across the room. <laughs> and and for some reason that really struck ma- made me laugh like Data laughed in this. Because there's no explanation. Like, he just goes, What the fuck? Something about it. Something about it ro- just, <laughs> just fucking sent me like over the and, edge. And no, nobody else in the room in the video is laughing. They're just I'd like, say what the that. fuck? <laughs> yeah, yes. and one of the like the best details of that video to me was how his like relative angle and position position didn't change at all as he flew through the air no yes. he was just lifted up uh, on on the y-axis exactly that's all that happened yeah. and it was and he- so funny i it's not even funny like thinking about it now but back then when i watched the video it's like <laughs> it caught me at the right time and place and i was just like ready for that video and i died i i so i recently went to see jackass in theaters Oh, the oh, new one, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, the new oh, one, Jesus and and then my, I went, I went to see it with my sister in law, and then she, she sent me this 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 tweet, and it's it captures the movie, the essence of it perfectly. It's a it was it was a tweet by this girl named Brianna, and it mm-hmm. reads: Seeing Jackass last night was probably the most joyous crowded theater viewing I have ever really have I've had in a really long time. Everyone was losing their mind in unison, and watching various forms of general abuse. <laughs> Gen- a genuinely moving oh experience. My God. Genuinely moving experience. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes. my God! But that's what it is, though. Like yeah. Yeah. those yeah. Jackass like, movies are just like yeah. Jackass oh is just long form TikTok. <laughs> yeah. Abusive <laughs> TikTok. Yeah, yeah, I know. Yeah. But you're watching like crazy shit. Uh, you know, like yeah. yeah. That's yeah. I don't know. Well, like, can, you guys- can't you just imagine like a TikTok would be like, hey, this is Steve O, this is TikTok. And yeah, then he like, yeah. you know, just does yeah. a, a random they're, ass they're thing. Bits. And- I mean, I don't know how the new Jackass movie is, but the old ones were, you know, little bits. They're just right? all dares. Little, dares and pranks. That's the, little the whole, skits yeah. and pranks and things and yeah. kind of string together to make one movie. I'll never forget. I saw Jackass with my mom. And <laughs> why? Oh my God, I dude. No, I don't what know. That about? <laughs> I said I was going to go to the movies with my friends to go see Jackass. And my mom was like, I want to come. I want to go. And my mom is... If you know my mom, she is not the target audience for this movie. And uh, <laughs> it, she's old, elderly, um, r- religious to an extent. She's just not the audience for this. But she went. She came. And uh, afterwards, she said she really enjoyed it. She's like, I enjoyed <laughs> the movie. You know? <laughs> but it was good. very Happy awkward. Ending. I'm glad. Very awkward. Yes. Very, very awkward. Good. How do you explain that to somebody? Like, it's hard to explain. Like, like my dad has a great sense of humor. Mm-hmm. Great sense of humor. Uh, and he'll laugh at a bunch of bullshit I do. He'll just laugh. You know, make mm-hmm. fun of me. But I can't explain to, to him why somebody putting a Hot Wheels cart in their butt and then going to the doctor <laughs> to get an x-ray I, is, is yeah. one of the funniest bits ever committed to film <laughs> and, oh at, at God, any point in history. No. Yeah, <laughs> it's embarrassing. Like, I think the Jackass movie I saw with my mom, too, had, like, various things being put up butts and poop and, you know, just <laughs> yeah, disgusting yeah. stuff that I'm like, Oh the thing that God. always that always <laughs> I always think is, so is like weird. kind of amazing about the Jackass movies too is that it's also like all by Spike Jones who is like otherwise like this like really like high concept 
celebrated award-winning filmmaker <laughs> and he's I mean, also he, making jackass <laughs> yeah fantastic. he needs jackass <laughs> yeah in order to make the rest of his work yeah <laughs> yeah it's an outlet gotta gotta get loose um this episode i'm gonna give i'm gonna give a i'm gonna give, give it a eight and a half mm. eight and a half all right yeah. all right <sighs> i was gonna give it an eight and a half too but then you told you did don't the worry thing where you where you said that like he should have they should have set up a joke and then he tells a joke to Data again. That would have been fantastic. Yeah. So now, now I feel like it was a huge opportunity lost. So I think I'm going to give it like an 8.25. Oh, darn. <laughs> <laughs> eh, that's fine. Uh, yeah. That's, uh, what do you guys, th- what do the rest of you guys think? Mm, I'm going to go with a 9. I really liked this oh, episode. Wow. Up to the 9. Yeah. Oh, wow. I thought, you know, I like the aspects about humanity. And the best traits of being a human. And I liked there was it was very comedic at moments. Um, Q is ridiculous. Um mm. yeah, but I enjoyed it. I had fun watching it. So I, I really, I really like the cinematography it. in the show. There's a lot of um yeah. mm-hmm. steady cam walk and talk, walk like and talk West Wing style the, uh, in mm-hmm. this episode, which is West Wing? Yeah, there's that shot where he goes in the 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 turbo lift and it yeah. SQ's just circling around the turbo yeah, lift. Yeah, I love that him. shot. And then at the yeah. end of that shot, we see he's talking to Worf. And yeah, they had some really great aspects yeah. of this yeah. episode that I liked a lot. Yeah. So I'm going to give it a nine. All right. Cool. I will give it a seven and a half. Dan, what the fuck, Dan? <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's, I think it's the second time in which I've had the lowest score of all of us. That's fine. Dan, um, we do not get along. We, we are not on the same wavelength. What the fuck, man? It's, okay. Are we uh, even the, friends? Oh, wow. Sure we wow. are. Wow. Our tastes in media do not determine our friendship status. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone listening should should take note of that too. It's just, <laughs> don't, don't 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 lose friendships over not liking like each other's favorite mm. things. You know. Okay. No, 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 no. Why I, the... think, I think you, I think you should unfriend people. Yeah. <laughs> I also I there also to, where does, to be where honest, does get that serious. Yes. To be honest, I don't agree with anything we talked about about humanity. I think humanity <laughs> is a dumb species. That's yeah. why I'm giving it a seven point yeah. five. Oh, yes, wow. because I don't okay. buy into all of that stuff necessarily. But also, I do still yeah. find Q a little bit annoying. Um, that's fair. Yeah. That's fair. I I do appreciate little bits like um, something that we didn't touch on during during the rest of the episode. But uh, when he is asked, like, "Okay, what would you do, Q, if you're so knowledgeable about how to solve this pro- how to solve this problem with the moon?" He says, "Let's just change the constant of gravity." Mm. And, and it was like, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, Q can fucking do that. But we're just people, dude. Just fucking you, you idiot. Yeah, we but, can't. But do then that. it turns out. Wait a minute. Mm-hmm. You said it in a really dumb, blunt way, but we might be able to do something kind of like that. And it would like uh, it gave them an idea. So I, extend, I appreciated that. Extend the warp bubble. To yeah, the moon. putting too much air into a balloon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, very good. Very good. Well, that was Deja Q. I, wait, was- I got a quick question about the Q continuum. Okay. Why is an act of selflessness like... It, it, like it implies that the continuum has like this greater sense of morality that Q himself doesn't necessarily isn't necessarily expected to have himself. I think I think there there's some sort of governance that's based on morality. I think that's about it. Like that we we don't know the details of why or not. Will we learn more about them specifically later? I legitimately don't remember. Okay. Um, just I wanted mean, to know. Just wanted obviously, to know. Q shows up a few more times at least. Um, sure, sure. But I, I don't know how much more of it is explained directly or not. I, I don't even remember. Yeah, like I, I would like to know, given what we've seen thus far about you know Q himself, who seems like a bit of a black sheep, so you can't count on him to represent what the rest of the Q is like. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah. then we see an, another example who ends up feeling a little too much like Q anyway. Mm-hmm. And so it makes you wonder, like, what is the continuum then? Because this yeah, guy feels no so much like Q, or like our Q, that I don't know how much different Q, like, elsewhere is, or is like. So, yeah, I'm trying to get I, a feel for them. I, th- I think, at the very least, little bits are being revealed more and more as time goes on. But I, I don't remember, legitimately. Fair enough. Cool. Yeah. So, who? Oh. Uh, <laughs> that, was, that was Deja Q. And uh, this is an episode of Newbie Star Trek, if you guys have been liking it. 
be really cool if you head over to Spotify, give us a rating or over to Apple Podcast or Podcast Addict, give us a review there. Tell us no, tell us no, let us know. Tell us no, <laughs> but let us know <laughs> well, where to go. What you, what you think about the, only about the podcast? Like Dang. a rhinestone cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, if you ever want to send us an email, you can reach us at contact at newbiestartrek.com. That's contact at yeah, newbiestartrek.com. Or and at Parthas week- de la Ute. <laughs> <laughs> no, that won't go anywhere yet. <laughs> Not yet. But, uh, also, Not yet. I'm on, it's also I, different I, from what you said last week. <laughs> I'm think- I, it is. This. I, I'm thinking of buying RikerFucks.com. Oh, uh, it's available. How is it not of? How is it available? Is it available? It is available, my man. Oh, dude, dude. I, I, you know what? I can't justify these 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 buys with my wife anymore, dude. He's like, <laughs> why, 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 why? Why do we owe Google domains like two hundred bucks a year? He's like, no, I don't. I don't know. You owe like hundreds. You owe like hundreds of domains. Yeah. <laughs> I would love for that conversation to end with just, I don't know. Shut up. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> you know, you know, you, you, know you, you know, fucking liberals. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's like in Silicon Valley charging me shit yeah. for domains. Uh, yeah, very good. Uh, uh, but, but yeah, pricks. <laughs> we have a we have an email this week from Ooh. someone named Dieter. I think that's how you say that name, Dieter. Yeah, D I E T E R. That's Dieter. Yeah, um, I believe so. Yeah, Dieter? unless it's a dieter. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just a dieter. Yeah. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, well, anyway, it says, hey, guys, there seems to be some confusion about Synthahol. That's very timely, considering oh, good. we just had a discussion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm, it's I'm basically eager. alcohol, but it, We're will here for meta- it. Will, it will metabolize out of your system faster than normal. The oh. idea is that crew need to be able to be sober in the event of an emergency, even when off duty. I think if you pounded multiple drinks in a row, you could get half-assed drunk, but you would be sober in 10 to 15 minutes. On the other Aww. hand, if you just drink them normally, it probably feels like the warm buzz of the first drink of real alcohol gives you. Just mm, my two cents. That's not fine. That, that's that makes not sense. fine. That makes we sense. want like drunk though. Well, but now I have un- more questions. Uh, <laughs> it makes sense because I, I have a theory like, well, what if they're drunk and they have to go back and like they're fighting drunk? Mm-hmm. Makes sure. no sense. But here's my other question. the This crew cannot be on for 24 hours a day. Right. No, they can't I want to show about the night crew, the oh. night captain. We've brought this. You've brought this up before, yeah. Yeah, because like on an overseas flight, like for like uh, my, my father in law is listening, so he he would explain it better. But like when because he, he's an he used to be an airline pilot, so when he would fly over to mm-hmm. Australia, and it's an insanely long flight. Yeah, they yeah. would have more than one captain, one crew, like more than one crew take. So one crew would do the first leg, and then the other crew would do. The other, because mm. because of how many hours you can fly, right? Right. Mm. There's got to be regulations for these fuckers. They can't be flying all drunk and high all the time. <laughs> uh, so they 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 gotta they gotta have a, a night crew. I want the show about the night captain. Hmm. I yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I imagine the Enterprise has the benefit of data, and therefore data can just take the night shift really easily. I suppose everyone, he could. Because he's, yeah. sec- he's he third in command. You, you're yeah. saying he doesn't power down and fucking crank one out? To, <laughs> he throws on the VPN and fucking, you know, <laughs> eat some um, jerky gent while he... Uh, he'll do it very fast. I he's guess very so. efficient. And he also uh, does it out of, out of curiosity. Yeah. That's more for the of, experience than yeah, for necessity. Yeah, or, yeah. So, but, I, but on another starship, yeah, I don't know. Because they don't show that in the original series, I think. Because uh, I, I haven't seen much of the original series at all, so I, I don't know if that's actually a thing. This I imagine. Only, sorry, go ahead. Sorry, it, it just occurred to me. Like it's only tangentially related, but this desire to see like the B crew reminds me of uh, one of my favorite comic comic book series, Gotham Central, which had oh, yeah, the, yeah. the night desk and and the day desk in oh, the Major yeah. Crimes Unit. So you had like different couples of detectives like working cases and stuff, depending, and like you'd see a different desk captain depending on yeah. what shift it was. Yeah. yeah. I wonder if Lower Decks cover something like this. Maybe. Where- Interesting. Yeah, like there's a lot of like those like uh, questions of like what what happens, you know, like uh, world buildy stuff yeah. that also, Lower Decks you- seems to be going after. Like also like because there's no artificial sunlight, right? And the- it's always just bright in the Starship, yeah. right? Unless you turn sure. the lights off in your own room. Mm-hmm. Like do you get like weird yeah. like not able to handle day night cycle issues 
That you know, sounds I like might... a general spaceship problem. Yeah, I, I feel like you would start having yeah, that issue. That would be you? weird because do they have like artificial sunlight or like how they do don't you know? see their lighting doesn't seem to like emulate a day night cycle at all. It just seems to be just on all the time, right? Yeah. I'm sure there's documented or there's documented accounts of how this works with astronauts who've been in space for long enough. Yeah, I don't. I yeah, don't dude. Know. Yeah, like for a year or something, like astronauts that have like been. Yeah, that, I don't uh, know, but I that feel one like that captain who sang David Bowie in space. Oh, yeah. <laughs> captain Corelli's Mendelin, I think it was called. <laughs> yeah, well, it has to be. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thanks, Dieter, for the email. And also, if uh, you guys have been liking what we're saying, we say things and other things. Like we have the Fugitive Frames film podcast where sure we're going we're gonna to eventually go back to. Yes. To some uh, canon films, canon films, yeah, canon films. There's some uh, big ones. Okay, you often up. refer to canon films, but you almost never explain what they are. What are canon um, films? They're ca- the canon films are uh, by this company called Canon Films. Uh, uh-huh. yeah, <laughs> yeah, and they produce some of like the some of like the top tier shitty movies of the eighties. Like yeah. they did, um, they were the B movie company. Like American needed- Ninja, yeah, yeah, the uh, Ninja Three, the Domination. They did mm-hmm. that. They did uh, Superman Four Quest for Peace. So yeah. anything that was like on its way out, they would buy up and then buy the rights and then do sequels. And they also did like Masters of the Universe. So like, yeah, they're the, they're like they're like high budget B movies. Yeah, or not like Death Wish or is not. a low budget B movie, and you know, Death Wish is basically you know it's kind of like. It's kind of a Magnum Force ripoff, I guess. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. know. And then they just made how many of those? Six of those. Well, well, the first Death Wish was an action was like MGM like a production, and then they bought. Oh, the was it? Oh, yeah, okay, yeah. okay. All right. Well. Classic, classic canon films, dude. Yeah, yeah. So that's um, yeah, yeah. That's what we're eventually gonna take a look at. And also, we have uh, Fugitive Games, our YouTube channel, where we try and get a gamey food. <laughs> uh, as of late, I've been mostly playing a lot of uh, Fallout New Vegas, Tale of Two Wastelands. So that's been a lot of fun. And then, uh, yeah, so that's that's all of our stuff. You can head on over to FugitiveFrames.com and then you can get links to all of those where you could just click around and see what we do. So next week, we're going to do a matter of perspective, which is Ooh. kind of a weird one. Uh, I remember this being weird. But yeah, we'll, we'll, when we get to it, we'll, we'll, we'll see what it's like. So yeah, until then, stay safe. We'll see you guys next time. See stay you guys, everybody. Stay safe, everyone. Take Take care, y'all.